This is Epic Zero, the guy that closes all your threads, and welcome to Cecil's Audio. Well, I frickin' God! What's up, everybody? We have a, uh, actually, surprisingly enough, I decided, um, we're going to take a short, like, intermission, so to speak, from our, uh, Tower Rush series and bring to you all a little piece about Undead. And actually, I have a match including a former member of the audio... Well, not the audio staff, but uh, someone who has put on an audio commentary. You'll see him talk about it in a little bit after we get this pause. At the 15-second mark, at the 1x speed. Now, about the little Tower Rush thing, I was waiting and waiting and waiting to fight a ladder match where I get a Tower Rush. I looked at a few replays that some other members sent me. Eh, I saw a lot of flaws in them and why the match turned out the way it did so I figured I want to I want to find a real genuine match and so until I find that we're gonna go ahead and go on with this because I actually this is the second most asked about thing not this matchup but the map Lost Temple where you don't have the, you know people are so used to these tavern maps that maps like this you know it's like what the hell what am I gonna get well, there's no tavern especially for night elves because they depend on the tavern the most out of all races so let's get this unpaused in three seconds and we can continue on with this little thing here three two one unpause alrighty so we're starting this off um, you can take the fog of war off so you can check out the whole entire map here we're seeing our good game good luck etc all that lovely little junk that you say in the beginning of the game and stuff like that so here we go. Obviously going to get your altar first. I don't see why not, unless you're going for some crazy build that, well, quite frankly, won't work. I don't know. Maybe you can try a later altar verse in Undead, since that's what they do, but I don't see why you would want to. But here we go. This is when he's uh, mentioning who he is. Actually, that's a rather old audio that I did. So you can see our little dialogue there, seeing who he really is. So, all right, Alter's going to finish. What hero am I going to get? What hero am I going to get? Well, I say if I'll do it if it's a good if it's a good replay. So, here we are. Hopefully, it's a good replay for you guys. So I do get the uh, warden. The warden is my choice here. And I'm um, a lot of people would get a demon hunter first. Uh, I prefer him second, because all that you really need him for, once he gets that level 2 mana burn, he's pretty much good to go. He can handle anything, really. Um, it, uh, what you need is a warden to get uh, her skill up really high. I mean, if you get a warden second, what the hell's a level 1 Fen and I is going to do to all those ghouls at that point into the game? No, you need something with a lot more power. So that's why I get the warden first. So naturally, in the beginning of the game, before I get my Demon Hunter out there, I'm going to go ahead and just go real passive, go with a bunch of creeping and stuff like that. You'll see what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to work on that Ancient of War. By the way, sorry if I sound tired, because I definitely just woke up. You know, you want to know when I woke up? I woke up at frickin' 1.30 in the afternoon, and it damn well felt good. Why? Because school's out. That's right, bitches. I don't have to go to school for another three weeks. Anyhow, I get Fan and Knives first. Now, Fan and Knives first rather than Shadow Strike first, that's sort of a risk, but you're going to see how I use this here. I end up using a double fan on these creeps just so my health doesn't get to a really critical point. So, um, I'm going to use that. And once I pick that up, I should have a lot of experience ready to go. And... After I do that, I plan on creeping those really dinky creeps. You know, those ones that uh, that are on the outskirts of the Central Square Lost Temple here. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Anyhow, what I will do after that, that'll give me level 2. So I'm going to have the Shadow Strike right now. So it's going to get me to level 2 rather quickly. But if you take a look at him right now, he's already sending all of these ghouls out towards me. So that's going to be a bit of a problem for me here. So if you notice, I'm starting to work on my Ancient of Wonders, getting some archers out from the AOW here. Totally oblivious to what he's doing. Not even that wisp that's on the outskirts of my hill on my base will help because it just turned nighttime. But here we go. I take notice of him. So I see where he is. So I know he's ready to go there. So I can't really get that creeping that I wanted to get done. 
So actually, if you take the fog of war and put it on my vision, to, yeah, just put it on my vision, you can sort of see why I'm doing these things here. So I was thinking about attacking the creeps in the middle and then shadow melding. Sure, he'll see me, but I dare him to still try and, and fight me off because, sure, he'll be able to see me when he uses his dust of appearance, but those creeps can't. So he'll try. He might try to stay there. He might try to hit those archers. But he'll also take some shots for his ghouls. But at this point in the, into the game, when I only have such a few amount of archers, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil that for me because I've never really tried that before, and so I don't really want to try something new out in this latter experience. So here we go. I'm getting my level two right now. Notice how I was really, really uh, reluctant to fight there, because I mean I didn't really have any shadow strike to do what I wanted to do. So here we go. There I use my shadow strike on that one little ghoul, so he's going to try to heal up whatever he can. And I'm just tapping alt as I'm doing this, simple enough. And I'm just taking out whatever's the weakest. Oh, there's a ghoul, I'll start taking it out. So he uses about two coils to save these guys. That guy will actually die, in fact. So I kill that there, and I'm just going to, you know, just walk back and forth, just uh, a battle of priority here. What I mean by that is, you know, who's chasing who, who's got the grounds and stuff like that. Best example of that would be like a tower rush, you know, where you've got the whole ground where the tower rush is, and you just slowly advance to them. That's why I'm doing my little series for you guys. Double Ancient of Wind, that's what I'm going to get. Then I'm going to work on some... I mean, they've been used for like a couple months now, ever since WCG. Uh... Just working on some chims and hippos. And especially on this map. This map when it uh, is put to good use. <sighs> Excuse me. Right, I just woke up at frickin' 1.30 in the afternoon. I don't think I mentioned that enough. I don't know, sorry, I'm just really excited. Felt great. Anyhow, here we go. Uh, like I said... Until that Demon Hunter comes out, I'm not really going to fight any huge battles unless I know that I can pick off a few units like I did in the middle. So, alright. Ankh of Reincarnation. I was thinking that I was going to hold on to that for a little bit, but screw it. Chances are, by the time that they have the ability to kill my Warden, they're going to have the ability to kill it when it resurrects with 500 hit points really quickly. With like a level, even a level 2 coil, some Novas, all that crap. And chances are we might be looking at a Lich second. Because he saw those archers, he would love to just slice them up. So here's my Demon Hunter out there. Just the level 1 mana burn. I mean, like right now, this level 1 mana burn that I got. I mean, that that's enough to, you know, really start to screw up their heroes. I mean, just if, if you short them out of one or two coils, you have no idea how much that screws them. So... A Demon Hunter second is a perfect choice for this kind of map. Um, if you if I went in Demon Hunter first, you can get DH first, granted. By the way, notice how I dropped the Pariah to Vitality. I dropped that on the ground, then hit the Moonwells. You save a little bit of mana on your Moonwells for that. If you have anything that boosts your health or your mana, drop it on the ground before you heal yourself. I mean, from Moonwells. Because... I mean, why waste all this mana from your moon wells to heal up this additional hit points given by your uh, items here when you can just drop them on the ground? You don't have hit points then, and then when you get that item, it's proportional in percent to your uh, hit points and stuff like that, so... How about that? I'm just merely checking if he has an expansion right now. That's where I always put my scouting wisp. I can tell... Not only if he's got if he's gonna be working on an expansion, I can tell if he's running up there. It's a just it's just a damn good spot to put your stuff at. So okay, I go into the middle, and since I'm going into the middle, I definitely use a fan of knives. And here I am trying to get that level three on the demon hunter right now. So you can sort of see my set plan here. I want to get I want to get a fair amount of druids of the, druids of the talent. I got about five right now. I'm actually going to be, be working on my 6. I'm already starting to get my Tree of Eternity here. See where that Wisp was right there? I just saw where he was walking. I know that he's going to be up in that area soon. I know it'll take a little too long for me to reach him, and chances are he'll just try to run up that hill if I try to engage him in battle right now. But I'm going to at least... Wait, is this the part where I run after him? No. I realize that. 
at that point in the game, so I'm just gonna continue on creeping. Wait till I get level three Demon Hunter. And I am pretty good to go. I mean I do have some healing wards, I have a scroll of the beast. It looks good. Looks excellent. So what am I gonna do here? Yeah, Demon Hunter is close to three, so. So anyways. Anyways. Ghoul. Dead ghoul. He knows where I'm at, so he's gonna walk on over there. And there's his dead giveaway right there. He shows me that gargoyle, so I know right now that he's intent on getting some gargs here. It's actually, if you do click on his crypts... He only has one crypt... Oh, no, two crypts. I think it... Yeah. He's going to start working on some gargs, which is excellent news for me. I mean, I'm very happy to see that. But once I see those gargs, that's, if you notice, when I start working on these hippogriffs. Now, the point in showing you guys this replay was a change in the style of play that I did. You're going to notice the first major battle that I fight with this guy, I totally get shafted. I totally get screwed because of one thing. And I see this in gameplay videos of certain people. I see this a lot of times just just in how people play. I, I can tell just by looking at people playing and replays how they play their game. That's either they look way too much on the bottom part of the screen in that little console where all their uh, units are, they look way too much onto that and not up on the screen where it really is happening. And then there are some times when people actually, there isn't really a problem with looking way too much on that screen unless you have something like rejuvenation and you want to, you know, take the easy way, just, you know, tab through your force group, hit E, get your units, you know, that kind of thing. That's really how force, uh, control console should be used in my opinion but oh well actually I do plan ex on uh, expanding here because it's the mo it's the least likely place that I can expect him to bring some gargoyles so I do st I do that do start to get my chimera roost I get two in fact so I can start pumping those out really fast because I realize I, I've gotten some games where I just get one Chimera Roost. It takes a little too long. Um, if, if you can get double the Chimeras out on him, it's double the surprise onto his ghouls, and you'll just shred the hell out of those ghouls. So here we go. If you look at the map... By the way, you can take your Fog of War off. You can see the whole map right now. Damn, his heroes are in good shape. They got some mana pots on there, guys. They got everything. Ouch. Hmm. Anyways. I am ready to fight my battle, actually. I do have some Master Druids of the Talon, so I'm ready to just lift this shit up into the air. He is not really going to do much. And now, he has... Actually, he has a Dreadlord. Damn. Wasn't expecting that, but that's, good, that's even going to be more of a uh, problem for me. Saying that all you have to do is just constantly sleep that warden and you're, you're not in any, any trouble at all. So, he's gonna get that creeping done. And what am I gonna do? Yep, he did, he did uh, bring his gargs on over. <sighs> so, as I expected. Not, not as I expected, I mean. So I am going to bring some hippogriffs over there, just to kind of shoo him out of the way. That's fine if he knows where that expansion is. Because what it does to me, it forces me into a battle where I've got him where I want him. There's no way he can escape, except for, you know, if he's got a TP. But it really puts me in a great place. So I do get my level 3 Demon Hunter, so I'm happy about that. That's from killing that one gargoyle. And I can continue on chasing that Garg, it's gonna die. Yada yada yada. So we're all happy about that. Anyways. He's starting to get his levels up as well, he's got his ghouls out and ready. He's actually got some Crypt Fiends. Cause he, he did expect me, by the way, just to get some, uh, some Hippogriffs for him. So now with about four or five, that's enough to take out my uh, Hippogriffs. So, 
Uh, most importantly, actually, my chimeras. So I gotta really play it careful when I find my battles here. But if you're looking at this replay, guys, it's it's like at what 14 minutes? Is it? No, it's like 13:51. Two. It's got plenty of time to go. So there's going to be many parts of this match that you can see. So here we go. <coughs> here are some ghouls. Gonna cut them up with some fan of knives. See what I can pull off with that. So I catch him in a good spot. I know that I want to fight this battle. And so I mana burn the statue. And easy 100 damage on the statue. What I was trying to do, as they're running like that, just try to tag their units. And what I mean by that is as they're trying to run, use a druid of the talon and cast a uh, fairy fire on a unit. I mean, just on one unit. Especially like statues or something. They're not going to leave a statue behind in their base. A ghoul? Yeah, they'll leave a ghoul back into their base. Um, the units that you want to get are pretty much anything besides ghouls, but if ghouls are your only option, just try to fairy fire as many as you can. You should be in good shape. So here I am. I'm going to get rid of these creeps. And so if you look at him, he's getting in position to try to hit my expansion. Now, there's no chance that I'm... Uh, by the way, put the fog back into my vision. Because you can see how that sentry wards helped me out. So I can see where he's walking through. So I realize, alright, he's going to either head towards my expansion, or he's going to head towards my main base. Well, I want a portal now. Why do I want a portal now? Well, if I portaled right now, and I was immersed in all these ghouls, look at what I got right now. I'm imagine a whole swarm of ghouls around that crap. It's not going to happen. Here's the battle where I screw up in. Here's the battle where I look all the way at my console, and I don't really pay attention to the actual screen. Look at this. All these fiends, they just trap that chimera, dead chimera, easy experience. Look at this. What are they going to do? They're down. They're not going to do crap. Look where half of my army is. It's up on there and it's blocking my warden. And my warden really isn't doing much. So I'm just going to try to lift their th things up into the air and it's not really going to work too well. I'm at least trying to deploy some healing wards. I'm trying to cast some cyclone. Actually, I'm not casting it enough. And so... I'm not focusing down onto these ghouls, which really sucks. See? And I'm not even bringing these archers back. I'm just paying attention towards like, con the console, and I'm paying attention to the heroes. And I'm not really getting much done. I mean, if look at the Demon Hunter. The Demon Hunter is going to die soon anyways. And so, Warden is going to probably die. Yep. Nothing I can do with that Warden, except kill the weakest units around me. And it's not going to work. Warden is going to die, and look what I'm left with, uh, nothing. Demon Hunter and a few Hippogriffs that will get webbed. So, the reason why he doesn't charge into my base right now is because, believe it or not, if I, see, I'm st starting to work on two chimeras right now, all I have to do is just delay it as much as I can. If you look at all my moon wells, I have, actually, yeah, I got about four that are full right now. So that's plenty to keep this DH alive during the whole battle. So, I just bring, look how I bring my wisps out too, I bring them out two at a time. So if, if I bring them all out at a time, that'll attempt his lich to use a uh, Nova. And that would totally screw screw them up, so I only bring two at a time. So he's So if he is going to Nova, he's going to use a Nova on like two wisps. And it's, it's not really going to get the full benefit out of there. So if you know that that Tree of Life is going to die, just send them out two at a time, two at a time. Don't wait till you got all, like, five wisps, because a good undead player, he's not going to sit and wait by the gold mine to see what comes out of it. No, no, no. He's going to stand back there, you know, keep his heroes all safe. If he has fairy fire, he puts those up towards the gold mine closest, because, you know, he wants to get rid of his uh, fairy fire on him. And he's just going to... Screw you. So, you might as well get some use out of those. So that's why I did what I did. I stand ready. By the way, what I do with the Chimera is I set their attacks onto statues first, and then I move on to uh, their ghouls. Okay, so he's ready to attack me. If you notice, if I would have delayed it enough, I would have been in okay shape. Mana burn the Death Knight first, seeing that he's a vital tool to that army. 
So he sort of got to see what I had. He knows that he doesn't have anything to devour the magic. I just throw those fiends up into the air, and he doesn't really have anything too hard to kill. I'd mainly bring probably the Dreadlord up into the air. Don't have to worry about the Death Knight. Just the Dreadlord up in the air and just focus fire onto the Lich. So, by the way, at this point into the game, I realize what I screwed up on. And as you can tell, I realized that like in the middle of the whole friggin' battle. So, with that, I'm going to pay a lot more attention towards my screen. So, it's just still working on some hippos and chims and stuff like that. Gonna work on an expansion again because, well, it was awesome when I had a bunch of gold. So I'm going to wait a little bit more. I mean, I looked at him, and I saw that it would be a little hard for me to go up and attack him in time, so he'd just be probably where he is right now, on the uphill, so... <sighs> Excuse me, once again, I'm yawning. But I do put my Tree of Life way at that upper corner, because that's a, a, these corners, they so don't expect it to be there. I mean, right now when he has no gargs, it's just even better, because now he switched to fiends. So, just getting expansions in areas that look like a risk, but they know it's sort of a risk, so they don't go there. I mean, I've even seen people expand. I have seen people expand at their opponent's natural expansion. I mean, for the love of God, what the hell? Anyways, anyways, whatever happened to Tellerman? He's still playing poker. Actually, oh my god, there's this one dude on our staff, like Stonehoof his name is. I swear, this motherfucker sounds just like Tillerman. Holy crap, I am so getting him to do a Tillerman audio. You guys have no idea. Me and Mr. Cygnus listened to this dude on Ventrilo. Holy crap, he sounds just like Tillerman. And, um, I think we, yeah, we were playing Dodo with this guy. And, uh... <laughs> he kept on dying, and it was so funny to... Guys, when you hear a guy with a Scottish accent curse, it is the funniest crap you would ever hear. Oh my god. Ah, uh, you guys have to hear this dude. He's awesome. So yeah, there's a little introduction of uh, a new addition to our staff. That would be Stonehoof. I'm going to start setting some illusion wardens out to scout. Seeing what I can do. I'm going to maneuver him around, obviously, like it's a real live warden. <gasps> oh my. So, anyways. Anyways. Is this freaking bullshit and balance? What can I do? Alright, here he goes. I don't... I want to stay back a little bit. I don't want to... I don't want to fight a battle where he's got the middle of the map here. So yeah, that's where he's going. He's pretty sure on getting there. So yep, once he casts a web, that sort of forces me to uh, stay back, fight my battle here, and then I start using my uh, hippogriffs to try to tack down those destroyers, but pff, it's not going to work. Anyways, I fight my second battle right here. This is when I pay attention to the actual field. Alright, so here I go. I'm setting uh, as many as many cyclones as I can. I set my chimeras to hit those statues. The statues are going down. I set some illusions in the middle of the battle right here, and so far it is doing awesome. Uh, Fan and Ives is just ripping through these fiends. The Death Knight comes down. I think no. Ah, damn it! I was so close to getting that freaking Death Knight. I just realized that right now too. Uh, he's got a level three coil, and ah, oh, that is a bitch. Ah. Uh, that would have so saved me so much time. You guys have... You don't even know. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Anyways, I'm using this warden right now. I'm, since I realize... Alright, I'm not going to chase this guy up into his base. Uh, he can probably fight it off if he goes and... Uh, actually, no. He's unsummoning. Holy crap. Yeah, he totally screwed himself. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and check for expansions. I wasn't even looking. I didn't even look at what his base had. I didn't even see. Yeah, hold on. Let's go to his vision. Yeah, he's getting some stuff for a gold mine. Damn. 
So, oh my god, that's why I needed to kill that damn Death Knight. Ah, that sucks. Anyhow, see how I'm treating that warden like it's a real, real warden here. So I'm trying to just mess with him. While I send the real stuff out there. So, it absorbed a few hits. He's going to try to kill the, the demon hunter with a good uh, bullcrap undead nuke. As you can see, it died. God, I freaking hate that crap. Anyhow, Dreadlord is going to die. He misses on the coil. And I am just continuing on with those statues. Those statues will die very quickly. A dead statue means a dead destroyer. So I'm very, very content with that. Just casting some ma uh, mana flare? No. I'm just casting some cyclone on some units as you're trying to get a little too close in there. So I managed to kill a few fiends off as he was trying to try to get in there. And with that, I was able to kill his lich just by, you know, constantly uplifting that death knight up into the air. I continue on with that. And I was thinking about surrounding the death knight, but I realized that I have a bunch of weak stuff here. Just get too much experience with that. And he could raise the dead with there. So he says it's a good game here. But it actually takes him a little while to uh, finish it up here. So there you saw the, like the transition of how you put your attention into the game. The first battle that I fought, <laughs> I had no attention whatsoever. I was playing like crap. These are one of these games that I was playing in the middle of um, this lovely little three-week break that I took in Warcraft. Why did I take a three-week break in Warcraft? Well, school, finals and stuff like that. Thank God finals are over. That was a bitch. Chem 2 was hard, but I managed to somewhat finish it. But anyhow, now that school's out, I can actually pay more attention towards gaming. Oh my. So his death knight's just gonna wander around like crazy. He's gonna try to kill some stuff. Uh, let's see here. He's... Nah, he's pretty much done. He's unsummoning all his stuff. He's pretty much given up at this point. He's just wandering his Death Knight around, just screwing around. We fought our major battle. But usually a strategy like this, if you man if you use it correctly and your opponent tries to counter it correctly, how they get fiends like that, it turns out so much better. I mean, because the Phantom Knives individually on these fiends, they'll die a lot quicker. It just works out so good. So good. So his death knight is going to gradually try to coil this warden to death, and I realize that, so I just kind of ran back a little bit. I didn't want to risk the whole thing here. So anyway, anyways, I'm going to work on some corrosive acid. Because I realize undead bases... I mean, right now I have no idea that he's unsummoning. I have no idea that... Um, oh yeah, I asked if he had an expo. Just, I was wondering why he was... Still chilling out here, but no, he's killing stuff. He's killing druids of the talent. I mean, this death knight running in here, coiling a bunch of my stuff. Ugh. Anyhow, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring these uh, chimeras back into his base. I don't know if he made any spirit towers or anything, so this is why I'm bringing these three chims back there. They have some siege now. So they're flying glaive throwers, so what? I just make sure I stay into the middle right here, because right now he can't coil anything to kill it. So I just keep them in the middle, where they're safe. So I bring these three chimeras back, just checking out whatever he's got. There's an acolyte. There's a dead acolyte. So, let's see. I mean, personally, right now, at this point of the game, I don't really care if he has, a, uh, like, some gargoyles to go up against these chimeras. I mean, eh, I don't know. So... We see our good games again. Wants to know if I will post it. Well, here I am. So, I guess he wanted me to post it, so... Alright, so I'm basically starting to scrape away at his uh, stuff here. He uses a lovely death pact on the Acolytes here. He's just left with an altar and a citadel. He's pretty much done. I mean, I'm sending my chimeras out here, and I'm realizing, uh, why don't I just finish it? So, 
just left with those two buildings we're just pretty much screwing around so I can pretty much actually I have some cool news for you guys um, newbie GGL formerly known as newbie CF for those of you who played Reign of Chaos uh, he has actually been accepted as staff for the site for doing some audio commentaries so that is really good news because what that means that means the next land that we go to we can do some awesome dual audios we can both sort of submit our part and yeah it'll turn out really really good so by the way the game's done uh, 99k for my score 82k for his score blah 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 anyways <laughs> actually let me check the APM just just for those of you who care about APM I can say you know the, the APM I don't know anyhow let me get to that really quick so yeah newbie CF uh, newbie GGL is on our staff now so that's really good news expect some dual audios with us soon uh, actually I also expect some dual audios from me and Mr. Singh this soon actually I was looking for him before I did this one but he was nowhere to be found Stonehoof was on so I could have done a dual audio with Tillerman but no I was like, do I want to do an audio with Tillerman? And I was like, oh no, never. So I didn't do an audio with Tillerman. Alright, let's see our APM. What did we get? 155 for him, and 119 for me. Pretty low for me. Ouch. What else can you find on this thing? I, I don't really look at this thing too much. Is that it? Did they tell you how much... No. That's all it tells you. What a crappy program. That's pretty much it for this one, guys. Happy holidays. Happy uh, Hanukkah, as that was the last day of that yesterday, the 15th. And uh, that's pretty much a wrap for this one, guys. So uh, I'll see you all on Battle.net.